Hi, I'm Rishi Sanyal from DP Review, and we're here at CP Plus 2016 in Yokohama, Japan. So right now we're at the Sigma booth here, and we're gonna take a look specifically at the Sigma MC11 adapter, which allows you to adapt Sigma mount and Canon mount lenses to Sony E-mount, APS-C, and full-frame cameras. Now Sigma is only officially claiming support for Sigma mount and Canon mount Sigma lenses with this adapter. Now previous adapters from uh, Metabones, for example, and Sony itself offered phase detect functionality but had severe compromises. They didn't offer IAF, for example. Lock-on AF functions were all grayed out, and you only got contrast AF in video, which meant a lot of hunting. That meant that some of the greatest autofocus functionalities of cameras like the Sony a7R2 and a6300 were not available with adapted lenses and could only be had by native FE mount lenses. Not anymore. So as we can see here, this Sigma mount lens attached to the a7R2 can actually continuously AF on an eye. And if you look at the lock-on AF functions in the AF area modes, they're not grayed out for the first time with an adapted lens. And look at the smooth autofocus in video, since the video is now using face detection to refocus as opposed to just contrast. While Sigma is understandably nonspecific about exactly how this adapter works, it seems like DSLR lenses adapted with this adapter behave like native FE lenses, and that's something we've never seen before. Now, Sigma has publicly stated that an internal database of information ensures that proper AF commands are sent between the lens and the body. And the great thing is, all of this is user-updatable by attaching Sigma's USB dock to the adapter to update it at any time, which makes it future-proof. When Sony first released the Alpha 7 r 2 a lot of people were excited by the prospect of a truly hybrid camera where you can choose the best lens and best body and combine them um, for your needs. Now that wasn't exactly possible because of the autofocus restrictions that have existed for adapted lenses up until now. Sigma's adapter changes all that, and that's truly a huge step in the right direction towards this idea of truly hybrid camera systems. This is Rishi again from DP Review. Hope you enjoy this, and see you next time.